hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how we can implement or show add more banner ads in our ios swift ui application here we can see this is the banner ad we can click on it but don't forget you cannot click your own ads it will lead to uh, termination of your admob account okay now we are going to do the first thing which is set up our admob application go to apps.admob.com and then select on uh, create a new app or add a new app here we will see the platform selection option i am going to select ios and you can select whether your application is live on the apple app store or not if it is not you can press no if it is yes you can select yes and go ahead and continue then you have to type your application name or enter your application id then select it i am going to select no the here then click continue here in the app name section we have to provide our application name i am going to say sample banner ads then click add app okay done now everything is ready now the next step is go to add units and then click get started i am going to click on this banner select now we can enter something like banner and then application name or whatever then click create add unit now the next step is you can click done here you will see some button like email implementation instructions if you don't know you can uh, select the application from here then uh, here you will see add units go to it then you will see this button click on it it will send you a uh, email that uh, including the instructions to set up your admob uh, application with your xcode project okay now you will receive a email like this then the first step is click on this google mobile ad ads sdk guide i will include this url in the description so uh, here you will see something like pod google mobile ads sdk you had to copy it now open the xcode here we are going to create a new project create a new xcode project we are going to select ios app then click next here i selected the swift ui as the interface now i am going to say sample add mob as my application name okay then click next i'm going to create it now all right open your finder and then go to the folder where your project is located i have that in my desktop and this is it so what i will do open the terminal here you have to type the command cd and then drag your folder to your terminal then it will select the current path of terminal to your project location here i have selected that you can use the pwd command to check it okay here i have all project files available inside it now here we are going to create our pod file that stores the information about external libraries that we are going to use for that we can use cocoa pods i'm going to say pod in it if you don't have the cocoa pods installed so this command will not work firstly you have to install the cocoa pods to install the cocoa pods you can run the command sudo g e m sudo gem install cocoa pods okay now run the command it will ask your computer password enter that and run it so once you install it you can run the pod init command now execute that all right now if we check by ls here we have the pod file now we have to open it how we can do that you have to say open hyphen a xcode then pod file it will open the pod file using the xcode okay now we have to paste the code that we copied through the admob instruction page which is pod 
Google hyphen mobile hyphen ads hyphen SDK. Okay, so save it, file, save, close it. Then in the terminal, you are going to run the next command, which is pod install or pod install hyphen hyphen repo hyphen update. This hyphen hyphen repo hyphen update is used to update your existing dependencies. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. So paste that here. Otherwise, we can directly run pod install. But if you want to update your existing repos, you can say repo hyphen update hyphen hyphen repo hyphen update. Now, once you run that command, it will install the Google Mobile Ads SDK. Okay. Now, fine. Here, open your Xcode. But the thing is, if you try to run your application, here it shows build failed. Let me go ahead and show you what we can do now. If you check your project folder, I am going to say open dot in the terminal. So it will open my project. Here you can see there are Xcode proj and XC workspace. Now you have to close your current project in the Xcode, then open this sample admob or otherwise your project name dot XC workspace that is in the white color icon now we are going to run our application to ensure whether project is working or not but when we run this you will uh, determine that our application is crashing for unknown reason so what we can do here you have to click on your project then click info click this url types then uh, you have to press this button to generate the info.plist file. If you already seeing that available here like info or your project name dot plist and whatever it is okay otherwise we are going to create it now. Press this plus button add items then it will create something like this your project name hyphen info. Here we have to click open as then source code. Now go back to the admob page that they sent you here you will see something like this uh, key value pairs that uh, asks you to update the info.plist file you are going to copy this whole thing and in the xcode you will see uh, this dict keyword inside that okay inside that you are going to paste the code that you copied okay now it will be something like this now go back to the admob page this one go to app settings of your application now you will see your app id here copy it then here in the xcode below of this gad application identifier you will see a string so inside that you have to paste your application id like this okay so that is it here so we can go ahead and close it now the next step is we can open the content view now i will attach some a uh, word document in the video description you have to download it so this will be the file inside this doc you will see a ui view representable wrapper for admo banner view so you have to copy this whole thing the struct then paste that here in the content view i'm going to reduce the size paste like this okay that is it for now now the next thing is import google mobile ads okay now here we have our content view stack inside that we have the uh, var body and then v stack inside the v stack what i will do add the spacer then i'm going to call for this add banner view now firstly we have to pass in the argument as add unit id which is the e string so go back to the admob dashboard here go to add units you can copy this id the banner id then i'm going to paste that here 
and after that we can say the frame of this as dot frame we have to provide the height for this inside the parentheses I'm going to say height as normally it will take as 50 okay now I'm going to run this application yeah our application is working now we can see our adverb banner ad is visible okay now uh, that is it for this video in the next video i'm going to show you how we can implement industrial ad if you don't know that let me go ahead and show you here in the adverb dashboard we can create a new ad unit and it shows industrial ad is full page ad format that appears at natural breaks and transitions such as level completion okay all right i will see you in the next video if this video helps please subscribe thank you very much